Hey, this is Mr. Hendrickson, and this is your Conceptual Physics Friction Pre-Lab. During today's lab, you're going to test various fac factors that affect friction using the materials you see in the diagram here. It's critical that you understand how to pull the sled in order to generate the friction. Number one, you want to pull slow and steady with a constant velocity. And number two, you want to pull parallel to the tabletop. Here you see the student holding the spring scale and pulling gently parallel to the table. You might notice that if there's not enough mass on the sled, you might not get a significant reading. You might need to add some mass so that you can actually get a reading. Use what you know about reading these scales to read them to the correct number of markings and record your results. In this other example, you'll notice the student is not pulling nice and evenly. This is also what you would like to avoid. Pull smoothly each time. Again, do not pull upwards, only pull parallel to the table. Otherwise, you will get incorrect results. If you find that using the 10 Newton scale, the readings are going above and beyond the scale, you'll want to switch to the 20 Newton scale. Apply what you've learned about tension scales to read these correctly. Here's a quick snapshot of your 10 Newton scale. Notice the markings. And here's a quick snapshot of a 20 Newton scale. Again, check your markings. If you are doing something with mass for your trials, please make sure you mass the actual sled. You can do so by simply hooking it up to the scale and letting gravity pull it down. If you find yourself needing to stack more than a couple masses, be very careful, they can fall off easily. If you choose to turn your sled on its side and put mass on it, just be careful, it can become unbalanced very quickly and fall off. Go slow and steady as you pull. Finally, when you go and actually do different materials, you can use many different combinations. The only thing that your physics teacher asks is please do not use sandpaper on glass or sandpaper on the desktop. Sandpaper can quite easily ruin both materials. Finally, you might notice a difference between when you're pulling and already moving the sled versus pulling from rust. Pulling from rust is what we call static force of friction. You'll want to take notice of the difference between pulling from rust and pulling once it's already moving. There should be a significant difference.